All right, all right. So I'm gonna just um make sure a couple of people we share this in a couple of groups. So share, 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 share. Mm -hmm. What's going on, everyone? We're gonna start in a minute. Just wanna make sure we share this into uh, a couple of groups. We have our little um, our student success story, little interview with one of our students here, um, Jennifer. But we're gonna make sure that we get opportunity for you know people to actually come in and be able to hear uh, what what takes place. Share this here. Share to the group. So what's going on, Jennifer? How's it going so far today? Hey, it's going all right. I'm actually glad the market's going good. Right. Because, uh, that means I get to study good. over the week. Yes, yes. We always <laughs> highlight studying no matter no no matter what. Yeah. Always study. Always study. All right, cool, cool. Let me make sure I share it to our page. And um we can go from there. Share it to the proper Yep, yep, yep. So first of all, I'd like to say happy Friday to everyone. Um, my name is Ernest. I'm from theprofitroom.com. I'm one of the team members. And uh, we do at our uh, company, we teach people how to trade and invest in the different financial markets. We show them how to be become independent professional traders on their own. Um, what you mean by independent professional traders is people that learn how to trade and invest on their own. They learn how to make decisions on their own. They learn how to navigate the different financial markets, whether it's stocks, options, it could be futures, it could be whatever, crypto, whatever, as long as it has a chart, um, we actually trade it. So um, we have a young lady here, Jennifer. Please tell us a little bit about yourself first before we um, go into the interview. Just, you know, tell us what you do, things like that. Well, um, by profession, I'm a nurse. I've uh, okay. been a nurse for 12 years. Um, mm -hmm. So tra trading is something new to me. Um, I'm okay. a nurse by trade. Okay. So one question, why, what would attract you to uh, trading, number one? And uh, number two, did you have any hesitations before you got into trading? Like, what gave you that bug? Like a lot of people, even though you're a nurse and that's a great profession, uh, my mother was a nurse, she retired and, uh, you know, nurses do make great income and things of that nature. But what got you fascinated with about the trading or investing and things like that? Well, actually, um, I knew about investing. I, you know, I have a Roth IRA, but I knew nothing about trading. A coworker okay. of mine, a nurse, she uh, was part of this trading company in which mm -hmm. they recruit other members. And so, okay. you know, she invited me to one of these meetings and, you know, I found out about Forex and that initially sparked my interest until I found out they focused more so on recruiting than education. And then that quickly mm -hmm. turned me off. <laughs> Yeah, but I was still interested in trading. I was just finding out what it was in September 2019. Okay, so Jennifer is a, a forex student of ours from the Profit Room. She trades forex, and she's also currently a, a, a future student. So tell everybody a little bit about uh, what you learned about forex or our approach to teaching and things of that nature, like. Why did you choose us, first of all? Then you can go into that. Well, I was following you guys for a while on Facebook, and I really like the fact that you guys focus on education. Like I said, I came from a company where they were recruiting. They weren't really focusing on education. So the fact that you guys were focused on education and you know, really investing in your students to succeed, that's what attracted me to the profit room. Um, Honestly, yeah. Okay. So what, do you, what did you learn like during the process? Like 
how so far like trading forex and things of that nature um did it did you see like it came easy to you how was it structured in a way for you to benefit cuz i know being a nurse um looking at charts looking at machines sometimes there's a, a lot of visual things you know you pick up a little bit faster how did you feel the learning curve was the process for you to develop did it take a lot of time for you i know everybody does stuff different i know you're a thorough learner because you always would message me but go ahead right so the way that the curriculum is structured i did not feel like it was hard to follow um mm -hmm. i mean like everything it's like I like structure, you know, like coming, having a traditional college degree. That's what I was seeking, you know, structure. And the profit room had that for me. You know, there, there was the homework assignments, you know, the homework gets graded, you know, you, you know what you're doing before you move on to the next step. And the structure was very important. You know, understanding was very important before moving on to the next step. So even though I'm a very thorough learner, I feel like, anyone can grasp it as long as they're devoting the time to study you know take yeah. notes and just follow follow along as you would with anything that you're educating yourself in correct and i think that's very important like you you said the structure because there's a lot of people that can talk about certain things and they can go over certain things but at the end of the day it's up to you um that you able to focus more on what you're actually learning you know putting it together doing things like that and a lot of people don't realize you have to put in that time because even right. though we can give you all the information in the world you have to study and apply it so right, that's right. great right now so now that you're trading forex and things of that nature talk about a little bit of um Let's talk about a little bit of obstacles you may have had as doing a course and picking up certain things. Hmm. I, I, I mean, I, I don't even know where to begin because it was so new to me. You know, I was mm -hmm. asking you guys questions all the time. Mm -hmm. um, just, uh, you know, just, just putting it all together. You know, you guys had given all of the study materials and all of the trading tools i would say the biggest obstacle is actually application you know the mm -hmm. practical application of of what you're studying that's the biggest obstacle um and and patience letting the yeah. market you know play itself out uh, observing i mean like observing is very powerful and having the patience um to wait for your trade set up that has been a challenge, definitely. Yeah, and I think you're not the only one who says that. And I think that's where I think mentorship and education, because there's tons of books on Forex, there's tons of books on any type of trading, but some people never have that push to actually apply it, that confidence. Like a lot of the people, especially nowadays in the Facebook group world with trading and the posts and all of that, you can have so much theory thrown at you and you can explain so much, but if you're not in the actual market and placing that trade, you get nervous because all that theory doesn't mean anything unless you're actually in it. You know, it's like test driving on a video game and actually driving a car. So, how was it when you placed your first real live trade? Explain that. Like, how did you feel the first? Or did you feel a little bit nervous? Or did you feel, hey, I, I'm a little bit confident now because I have this, this, this. I know my setup. How was that feeling in the beginning? I mean, I think it's kind of scary how confident I I, <laughs> I was placing mm -hmm. my first trade because the exercises that you had you know, me doing, you know, I'm taking the futures course right now. So the exercises that I thought was so redundant, I'm doing the same things over and over and over again. It actually felt like second nature, um, taking my first trade, you know, so I was yeah. very, very confident, you know, going in. So. So tell them about what you did 
the past two weeks? Tell me what, what was your balance in your Forex account and what mm -hmm. you end up closing uh, the following week. So that was from, I know it was from a Thursday to a Thursday. Tell them what yeah. your balance was and how much you made. Yeah, so I started off with $713 and I ended the week, I started on a Thursday and I ended the next Friday with over $5,000. Yeah, With I mean, five thousand dollars. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, very crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. And you were just making nice controlled trades. That's exactly. it. Control exactly. Risk. That's great. And yeah. I think one thing, like you mentioned, is just a repetition when you practice. Right. When you practice. Yep. Because you're not going to be able to make that much money if you never had the confidence to do it. I agree. I agree. You have the confidence to do it. Yeah. That's great. So currently, right now, um, you're in the futures course mm -hmm. as well because you want to trade the oil, the, um, all, all the futures, NQ, uh, ES, and the rest and things like that. What are you looking forward to out of your, your, your trading education that you have now? Like you there's still a student of the market. Like we all are students, even myself, Latoya, Jason, Kevin, everyone that's on the team. But what do you look forward to as you continue to grow as a trader? As I continue to grow as a trader, I, I look forward to financial freedom. I mean, you know, I love mm -hmm. being a nurse. You know, I, I, I love that as my career, but you know, one day it's, it's going to end and I want to be sure that you know, I can uh, take care of myself, uh, mm -hmm. take care of my family. I never know if I'm going to be in good health a week from now, a, a year right. from now, you know. Um, so financial freedom is, is very important to me. Uh, generational wealth, that's also very important. So I always keep that in mind. That's cool. And one thing I want to highlight that was great that you did, because – you you popped up out of nowhere and i saw the post that you went from the 700 to 5000 which you said something great on the post cuz i didn't know like i called a toy i said you saw jenny's post you saw what jennifer post you said that hi guys i've been quiet for the past week and that's when i was like i was like listen i said she's going to be a great trader because you have to take away the noise when, mm -hmm. you, when you're trading and you're, you're, you're coming up with your own thought processes and you're knocking out these trades, even though, like, even when you see us in the room or trading and things like that, it makes you feel so much more comfortable if you see the trade setup, right? But so, cause oh. when you're by yourself, when you buy yourself, there's nobody to give you that confirmation. There's nobody right. to tell you, say, hey, this is a right trade. This is a wrong trade. So during that initial phase, like we always tell everybody, you need to you need to get away from the noise. You don't need to be in any groups. You don't need to hear nobody advice. Because once you zoned in, you get that power to place that trade, right? Right. I agree completely. Yeah. So w was it hard for you to disconnect from everybody in order to do that or what what made you do that in, in, internally right? I mean, we always preach that but what made you feel like you needed to do that i mean I, I i just felt like i needed to focus and be in the zone i mean i i i knew i needed to just be in the zone i, I can't really explain it yeah. you know i just knew that that's what i had to do for myself focus on myself don't worry about anything else you know this is what i was trying to do and I had that end goal in mind, you know, just straightforward. Correct. And, and that's what makes somebody a professional trader because many people, especially when they reach out to start trading and trying to learn, they, they try to blame someone else. So this person, I didn't learn this. I didn't learn that. Or they didn't help me do this. They didn't help me do that. But at the end of the day, when you sit in back and you actually are learning and you applying, you see the results. Having to see the results. So uh, you made those amazing profits. What was the first advice 
that I gave you to do? What was the first advice? Hmm. When, I don't when, know. What did, if what did I... I message you when I messaged you when when you when you made those profits? You made that post. What did oh, I tell you to do? To withdraw the money. Yes. Withdraw and start with my uh, same balance. Yes. Correct. Correct. Yes. And so, why did I tell you to withdraw the money? Why did I tell you to withdraw the money? Because I might not treat it as if, you know, that was earnings. It's not real if, if I didn't withdraw it. Exactly. Exactly. And that's, that's very important even for everybody that's watching and seeing what's going on. Because trading can become like a video game. Because mm -hmm. the money's not real until you take it out. And that's the thing. People, we, they leave the money in the account. So if you made from $700 to $5,000, it's like mm -hmm. that's the biggest beginner's mistake because everybody's trying to grow account. They're trying to grow account. They're trying to grow account. And you, you realize, hey, I made this much money. I'm a rock star trader like i'm i'm i made it and before mm -hmm. you know it them 50 cent lots start going to a dollar lot and then before you know it, it's like what happened to all that money in that time and right. the reason why that's more of a mindset thing is because you can always put that money back in so the thing is the the, the biggest achievement as a, a trader especially somebody that's new when you take that money out it hits your account, right? And you're like, okay, I got four thousand in my account. Then you actually go like maybe to the ATM and you pull out even like twenty or fifty dollars, and you go buy gas or you buy something. You realize psychologically that whole trading cycle is so real that that money came from you trading. And okay. many traders, and I'm gonna say this in Twitter will never experience that. Not saying that they're good, not good. They'll never experience it because they never took money out of the market. And I'm gonna tell you as in, that was me for like, cause I was working, I had a career, like you have a, a, a great career and in your mind, you don't really probably need the money like that when uh, mm -hmm. people usually have a stable career. But if you don't do that, it's not gonna come real. Like it took right. like I haven't taken money out of my account when I first started for like two years. Oh my god. Because I had a job. But you know what I was doing? I was trying to grow, then I mm -hmm. lose money. Trying to grow, lose money. Because I it, it didn't hit me. But as soon as I took the money out, I was like, Oh, this is real. <laughs> this is real. Because it it, it, it it psychologically triggers something in your brain. So even if you have an account, even if you made $1,500, even if you made $2,000, at least take half of it out. Right. Even if you don't spend it. So you can look at your Bank of America, Wells Fargo. You could look at any account and say, wow, this money wasn't in here. It's from, um, you know, trading right. and stuff like that. So that's good. That's a good job. So I don't want to keep you... Um, that long but it's great to see success like that because a lot of people when they see videos of um people like yourself and many others is not that um like you say you have a nursing background and mm -hmm. it's not that a lot of people feel like hey i need a, a huge finance degree i need to know this i need to know a lot about it. Was there a lot of math involved? So that's a lot of people get scared. Like you got to do a lot of math. And no, no, not a lot and, of math. No, no. Yeah, it's not even hardly no math or anything like that involved, right? It's just mm -hmm. understanding and being a student, following directions. Right. You know, you used to send me pictures with your little notes of the charts and the patterns <laughs> and stuff like that. And to see like, when I'm like, oh, she's writing down. And that's how you know, because people are, a study, you know, we have students that are truck drivers that uh, listen and watch the content while they're on the road. You know, it's just, mm -hmm. it's about how bad you actually want it as right. an individual, how bad you actually want it. And I'm glad that you're able to participate with us in the profit room. And we, that we thrive on stuff like that, because now when you see the other students and like you join the room and start trading with us, 
mm-hmm. you'll see the potential that other people never see, right? Right. Like, did you actually think that people are making three, four thousand dollars a day trading? Oh on a regular? no, no, no way. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, my family can't even believe it. I'm like, look, look here. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I didn't believe it. I didn't believe it until I actually had experienced myself. You know, there's no way I could believe that at all. Mm-mm. Exactly. I mean, it takes me, you know, two weeks. I mean, I make pretty good money, but it takes me like two weeks to, you know, two and a half weeks to earn that. You know, I mean, mm-hmm. there's no way. I think and it's it, very it was- hard for people to believe that they can make this kind of money. Ugh. Exactly. Yeah. And that's the thing, like, and that's where the beginning we had a hard time even showing that because when you look in the, the world today, everything is smoke and mirrors and a lot of people really don't believe a lot of stuff like, oh, this can't be true. You can't be making that amount of money and stuff like that. But those who take the leap, right? And that's when we start calling out the trades and the live trades. You like, because it used to happen with me too, like, when I, I used to trade with my trading coach and I never knew how much money she made. And this is back in 2007 and eight. And one time we were trading live and I happened to see she was making $130,000 in like oh an hour. God. Wow. 130 grand in an hour. Like <laughs> I've seen days where she lost 20,000, like made 80,000. And I'm like, this can't be real. Like, no, this is not real. But she had size. She was leveling up. So I'm right. like, wow, like, you know, whatever. But when you start to see it and you put yourself around those people, you start to be empowered. Like, even like you'll see people like Trader Shells and even yourself and others, you're going to start developing so much faster into the confidence because you're going to see everybody around you doing the same exact thing. So you're like, okay, right. they're taking that trade. Like, you know, you're going to start off like with one contract, then you end up doing like two and you're maybe three. Now you're going to be holding a little bit longer. And before you know it, you be like, you know, like I always laugh at uh, Sherelle because she started whispering, I made, I made $8,000. <laughs> she was like so scared. Like, I don't know how I did that. I, I don't know how I did that, you know. And she got a little bit, she gets, she got a little bit nervous when she said it because it becomes surreal, but Uh I'm just saying, you know what to do. So that's great. That's great. So, um, like I said, much success and Mm -hmm. we're still here to help you. I know you still, you're still in the beginning phases of the futures course. And Mm -hmm. I know from the skills you already had from trading, um, Forex, is coming a little bit faster because you're learning the uh, personalities of the market. And I, I don't see how you're going to have any issues as you continue throughout the futures um, course. And we just say we're very proud of all our students, all of our students we're very proud of, but those who especially push themselves like you, like you're doing is great. And that's why we do these videos so other people can see that, it's not just us, like, you know, posting profits and live trades and stuff like that. And you, you trade with us now almost every day. You see the calls that come out, boom, 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 boom. It's not like it just pops out of nowhere. You see the reason behind it. You see the breakouts, boom, boom, boom. And say, like, right. I did it, you know? So, right. so anything uh, you would like to say to people who may be thinking about learning how to trade or just in general, any fears they may have? just about trading in general uh, it's, it's not it's not too good to be true and you can do it too uh trader shell she was actually an inspiration for me i would see posts from the profit room but it didn't feel real to me until i saw just a regular person doing it she has you know a facebook page where she posts her gains and her losses and she's very transparent um i actually mm-hmm. dm'd her before i even took the course and i was like hey How's this course? Should I take it? You know? So she was, she was very real. It's very important to see just regular plain Janes do it. Um, you know, if we can do it, you can do it too. Plain and simple. You just have to dedicate the time. 
you know, and apply everything that you learn. No, 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 that's, that's good. And that's what I tell people all the time, no matter what you're going to do, you always got to do the research and find out, you know, and you can actually do it no matter what, always do your research. So right. thank you so much, Jenny. We appreciate no that. Um, we look forward, like you said, I know you're going to continue to study and do more and more and do great in the market. Like I said, you still got a lot more with the futures course and no matter what, you know, you're learning a skill, which is so much important that we always stress to people, education, application, success, because at the end of the day, Latoya and I may not always be here. Hopefully we will be, but you don't need anybody's out else's confirmation on what to do you can make that decision on your own you don't need to get anyone's advice and even though we're here to help at the end of the day you shouldn't have to we get students like you who take the course and they do very well and some of them we even hear from again and we check in on them like hey how's it going like six eight oh i'm still trading i'm doing good i'm making money i'm good like all right you can call me and say what's up like yeah but, some people treat it like a business because it is a business, you know, they want to learn something and they keep it moving and they go on with their life because they know they got families and stuff to take care of. And that's been our whole goal, no matter what. That's why we have all the YouTube videos. That's why we do these videos and things like that, just to motivate and inspire people. So Yes. And I love the fact that you guys foster independence. Um, there's this quote, and I know the older guy said it on his video. Um, Give a man a fish and he eats for today, but teach a man how to fish and he eats forever. I mean, this is mm -hmm. totally true in this case. Like you guys will teach any student trader to just become independent. You, we won't even have to rely on you guys at all in order and to that's the That's the biggest difference for us. And it's easier, like many people will teach a strategy. It's easier to teach a strategy and it's great revenue for a business like that because you're just teaching one strategy. We try to teach you how to trade. So whatever information you have, you have the strategy, but you can adjust it to any market, right? Because at the end of the day, that's our goal for you to just, boom, you go fish on your own. And you're not just stuck to just one strategy. So that's in your product of that. So, all right. Thank you so much, Jennifer. We um no great for your success. And we'll you. see you probably in the room on Sunday. Yep. Have a all good right. night. Take care. Thanks. Have a good night. Bye. Bye.